Kevin Durant, one of the best basketball players in the world, of course. And while last year's N NBA MVP plays for Golden State, he's been making a personal influence in Detroit for years. That impact has been behind the scenes, helping a young basketball star. Brad Galley joins us now with this story. Brad. Kevin Durant is the reigning finals MVP. His name turns heads on basketball conversations and courts across the world. But for Jermaine Jackson, a Detroit Mercy great, and his son, freshman point guard Jermaine Jackson Jr., he's family. This year, the father-son duo is an assistant coach guard duo with the Titans, and Durant has continued to make his influence felt. What's it like to have this guy as, uh, as your coach to wear that jersey, to wear that name on the back of your jersey, knowing that he's worn it in the past? Uh, man, it's an honor. All the records he has, uh, the great things he did here. It's a blessing to be coached by my father. The path shouldn't be a shocker. Jermaine's dad brought him around everywhere when he was in the NBA. And back in 2007, when Seattle drafted Kevin Durant, Jackson was brought in to guide him on and off the court. His rookie year, we went to the mall. He's in the iPhone store. And man, I'm like, man, that credit card ain't activated yet. So he had to, uh, he still had the tag on the back. I say, bro, got to take the tag off the back and activate it. It was kind of funny, but I mean, it was, I mean, he was 17. From that moment, a bond was born. Jackson's guiding hand has helped Durant for over a decade, and it's created a new bond. Durant guiding the younger Jackson. If you want proof, when the Warriors played in Detroit this season, they had their choice of gyms to practice. They picked Detroit Mercy's Callahan Hall. What's family mean to you with these two? Man, see, I met JJ uh, coming into my rookie year. We played in the same summer league team. And I was just drawn to him because he had just natural leadership skills. You know, as, a, as an 18 year old, somebody I could follow and kind of show me the ropes of the NBA, he was the first guy to do it in summer league. So we remained friends for 10 years. And, you know, once I seen that his son was growing as a basketball player, I just tried to be there to support him. He just tells me, uh, to be great, to be the best person I can be on, on court and off the court and uh, just tell me little things to be better. Is there a little part of you that, that's going, oh my gosh, I'm talking to Kevin Durant. Yeah, it's right amazing, now. it's amazing, but I've been around it for so long, I'm just starting to get used to it. Jermaine Jr. just said basically he, your name just rolls off the tongue and some of the guys go, don't you realize that's KD? He goes, that's just Kevin Durant yeah, to me. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty cool that you make that big of an impact. Man, it's, like I said, it's just family. We always got number of respect and love for him and his family and any chance we get to support, we're, we're around. So what do the finals MVP and now one of the Horizon League's all freshman players have in common? It's basketball and the bond that his dad created. Special deal there with the basketball family and Detroit Mercy Callahan Hall so special. The Horizon League tournament gets set and starts Friday at Little Caesars Arena. Such, a, such a cool story, it Brian. Is. Yeah. You love to see that tight-knit closeness oh, continue. The basketball it's community, it's, it's strong. Yeah. It's strong. Another example right there, no doubt. All right, Brad.